Welcome to Examples Caseless Construction Software, your tool to a winning case list. Welcome to Part 2 of Examples Caseless Software Tutorial. We are going to show you how to enter in a GYN case. We will start from the home page of the software. By clicking on the GYN icon, a selection of categories will appear. Choose a category and either double click or press go. Now we are on the GYN spreadsheet of the caseless software. At the top left, we will click on the Add Edit GYN Record button. This will open a form to allow us to enter in the GYN case. Let's enter in a real case right now. Patient's initials, patient hospital number, Patient's age, gravida, para, and the amount of days in the hospital. We will choose the hospital name from the drop down box from the hospitals we had entered in on a previous time. If we'll be using multiple time periods, here's where you would choose the time period for this case. Now let's enter in the patient's information. Diagnosis, we'll have menorrhagia. In order to go down to the next line, simply click Control and Enter. Next we'll have dysmenorrhea. Again, control enter for the next line and previous cesarean delivery. Next, we will click on the treatments tab to enter in the treatments. <coughs> we have oral contraceptive pill and total abdominal hysterectomies. In the Pathology tab, we will enter in the Surgical Pathological Diagnosis. Benign Cervix and Endometrium. And in Meiosis, and leomyotoma. Again, click control enter to go down to the next line in order to enter in the weight. The final patient's column is the complications. We will enter in none. One of the best and most unique features of the example software is artificial intelligence built in. The last tab is the recommendations tab. When we have this tab clicked, simply click check case. This will bring up the artificial intelligence. This is like having Dr. Shamrath looking over your shoulders, making suggestions about the case we've just entered. Let's see what the software suggests. When we are satisfied with our entry, we need to click on the finished editing. Now we can see everything we've entered on the spreadsheet to this, this particular case is complete. To add another case to the same GYN category, we click on the next button. Add new row below active cell. This button will open another form to enter in the patient's information. Should we need to add, edit, or delete the case we had previously entered, simply highlight the case we want to edit and click on the Add Edit GYN Record. 
This will give us the ability to make any changes or delete the case if necessary. To view the selection of GYN categories, click on the GYN button. This will open up the list of GYN categories for this case list. To return to the home, simply click on the home button. Always make sure you're saving your entries by clicking on the save file button. Thank you for joining us for part two and tune in again when we guide you through part three, which is entering in an OB case. Thank you for using the case list construction software. Now let us help you defend your case list. Check out our seminars at www.example.com.